The University of Victoria is studying the coastal waters and what lives beneath them, the waters between Vancouver Island and the mainland. It's been doing it for eight years now, collecting and analyzing data collected on the ocean floor to try to better understand our marine ecosystem. And now UVic's Venus Project is expanding to the surface with help from BC Ferries. CTV's Louise Hartland has more. And you can see how important this ferry route is. It crosses that very plume that we're, we're studying. It was the perfect solution for Dr. Richard Dewey and his team working on the Venus Project at the University of Victoria. One of the things we're really sort of conscious of is the health of our local ocean. Right from the, the nutrients to the phytoplankton to the salmon, right, right up to the killer whales. Venus was looking for a way to access and collect data near the ocean surface between Vancouver Island and the mainland for its study of coastal waters. Then it hit them. So the BC ferries are crossing the Strait of Georgia every few hours. So we put a, a bunch of instruments on the BC ferries. They'll sample the water properties. We've also put a MET station and it'll be sampling the atmospheric conditions as well. Dr. Dewey says it took a while to convince BC ferries to let the team cut a hole in the hull of the Queen of Alberni to mount its equipment. But once ferries understood what Venus was trying to do, the company was all aboard. Among other things, the ferry-based sensors will track temperature, salinity, the health of phytoplankton, and the amount of sediment, specifically from the Fraser River. This large murky cloud shows the sediment in the strait. When we want to understand what's happening in the strait, why is the strait healthy or why do the salmon return one year and not the other years? When they come out as juvenile salmon, the health of the strait is really important. So all of these measurements contribute to our, our understanding of how healthy is the Strait of Georgia. The Venus Project has been collecting data in coastal waters since 2006, when the first cable and node station was installed at the bottom of Saanich Inlet, capturing images and data to help marine scientists, oceanographers and geologists study our marine environment. Now scientists are excited about the install on the Queen of Alberni, allowing them to monitor particles near the surface for the first time. But they are not finished. But there's two other major routes across in the Strait of Georgia. There's the uh, Departure Bay to Horseshoe Bay on the northern side and the Swartz Bay to Suwassen Bay on the southern side. And we're going to be instrumenting those two routes as well. So we'll have a complete a mosaic of what's happening in the Strait from north to south. The other vessels will be outfitted over the next two years, eventually allowing scientists to analyze and understand what is happening in these waters in real time. Louise Hartland, CTV News, UVic.